Hi, my name is Ambesh and these are my friends Mukund and Puneet. And we are doing, we are going to explain to you about two types of waves, longitudinal waves and transverse waves. Okay. Mukund, demonstrate a longitudinal wave. Yeah, so what do you observe, Anvesh? That there are many pulses from one end to another. A pulse is a single independent. A pulse is a single independent. Which travels from one end of the medium to the other. But right now Mukund is producing a series of pulses. One after another. So that's called a longitudinal wave. Right? Okay, and what is the frequency of this wave? How do you define a frequency of a wave? Oscillations per second. So it depends on the source only. If Mukund is going to move his hands back and forth, if Mukund is going to move his hands back and forth slowly, the frequency of the wave also becomes less. But if he is going to move it fast, the frequency of the wave becomes more fine so what is the other and in this what did you observe each particle of the medium that is each ring of this slinky is moving back and forth in the direction of wave or perpendicular to the direction of wave in the direction of the wave be louder please right it so the the hallmark of a longitudinal wave is particles of the medium vibrate in the direction of propagation of the wave so wave is travelling from Mukund to Puneet and uh, rings of the slinky are also vibrating in the same direction. Right? That is longitudinal wave. Now what about transverse wave? Demonstrate transverse wave. Now this is called a wave. Yeah, so what is the feature of this? Trough. The lowest position is the trough. Highest position is the crest. And Frequency here also is defined the same way. Yeah. Number of oscillations per second. So this is high frequency. Now make it low frequency. This is a low frequency. So what did you observe happens to the wavelength of the wave if the frequency is low, wavelength is becoming big or small? Big. And if the frequency is high, what happens to the wavelength? Demonstrate it Mukund. Make the frequency high. Let us see what happens to the wavelength. You saw it becomes smaller. Right? Okay. And uh, the rings of the slinky are moving back and forth perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave or along the direction of propagation of wave in transverse wave? Um, it's perpendicular. Very good. So in a transverse wave, his hand is moving back and forth perpendicular to the direction in which the wave is moving. Right? So these are the features of the transverse wave. Now in both cases, the velocity of the wave depends only on the material of the medium. Okay? Yeah. 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 Yeah.